Morning, Peter. Morning. Beautiful, beautiful morning here. That's your standard morning. Oh. I'm amazed you're up on. <laughs> I went to bed. <laughs> Five fifty-nine, and we're gone. Ahead of schedule. Left mizzen. Peter is gone like a rocket for the minute anyway. <laughs> oh Alright, we have some sunlight and we have some coffee in us and a very nice woman, I think named Gillian, bought us sausage rolls. I don't know, she had a very nice bunda anyway. <laughs> Probably can't say that in the video. <laughs> but uh we have a puncture in the back of the scooter. Uh, we only got what? About a mile, a mile. from Mizzen and realized the back tire was flat. Uh, but we have a man in Kennedy Key with a tube, a tire, and a spare rim, even I think, if needed. So hopefully we'll make it that far. You're sweating anyway, you're not freezing. Ski pants, hoodie under the, no jacket under the costume. Yeah, it's half the hoodie. Though. Here, see, is that working? No. Nothing? No. Buzz doesn't smoke. Buzz is a heavy smoker. <laughs> We are just pulling into Kennedy Key here now, and oh my god, there is some turnout. We're live on TikTok here as well. And <laughs> hell, the amount of lorries.
We we are back on the road again. We just left Cork. We just left Kennedy Key. But we can't find Peter. He's gone. Someone filled him with Red Bull and wound him up. He's gone like a rocket. So we're trying to catch up with him. Um, the atmosphere and everything in Kennedy Key was electric. Unre I couldn't believe it. The crowd that was there, the crack, the atmosphere was just unreal, like wasn't it? Very good. I couldn't get over it. And we have to say a massive, massive shout out to uh, Shane Burns, Best Drive Tires. He was one of the organisers of the gang at Kennedy Key and he also sorted out a puncture on the scooter because Peter was driving with a flat tyre since Goline. He'd done 100 kilometres on a flat tyre to get Kennedy Key and uh, Shane from Best Drive Tyres couldn't do enough to get it sorted. It gave us a spare tube, gave us uh, a thing of uh, that puncture repair, expanding foam stuff. So hopefully, please God, that'll uh, see us through the rest of the weekend. So, we have lost Falvey. <laughs> he left Cork, we left Cork, he tore off, and uh, we went up the road, like, ah, oh, we'll catch him. We're in Watergrass Hill now, we haven't caught him. There's no way he's still ahead of us. He couldn't be. So, we're after losing him. We can't find him. It turns out Peter is, in fact, in front of us. And, uh, Obviously the new the puncture repair is making all the difference because we couldn't keep up with him. He's flying. Uh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey! Over two grand! Are you serious? In that. Oh shame that! Yeah. yeah. Holy shit! Yeah. We're at the fast enough and it's a Yeah. Out of petrol. <laughs> we have landed in Cashel. <laughs> okay. Heave the head down, heave the head down. He's going at it. <laughs> oh Christ, uh, the weather has taken a turn for the worst. It's fairly wet out. Uh, we are now heading for Port Leash. We will be there before three o'clock probably. We're making great time. Uh, there was a brilliant crowd at Cashel. Big turnout, um, highwaymen, Daltons, all the big tip truckers were there. Um, there was nearly a queue for the bucket at one stage. So massive donations again at Cashel. Thanks to everyone, fair play. Um, we got sweets. Sweets, people were giving Peter cans of Red Bull, box of fags. The generosity is unbelievable. Um, so we're on, heading for Port Leash now. We'll be there for three o'clock. All going well and uh, hopefully the weather doesn't get any worse. But uh, fair play to everyone who came out to Cashel and we got a, we got a brilliant, what would you call it, Guard of Honour exit yeah. by the highwaymen at the horse and jockey, which is brilliant as well. Great camaraderie there. 
in fairness. So there's there's five of you now getting absolutely drenched. We have made it to Port Leash. But it's a bit rainy and we're very early, so we're just going to hide in the van for a little while. <laughs> Till it dries up. I'm going to take the pictures and things. There's a few here all the same. <laughs> have you a few pounds for us, have you? <laughs> Jesus, Jenny, where are you usually giving you money, not you giving us money? Is he heading away? Oh no, we're lighting these up there for a photo. Alright, yeah. Oh, you better go film something because I don't want to sit in the van. <laughs> well, what? what's happening? I have a question for you. Go on. So you weren't very enthusiastic when we were leaving this morning at 6 o'clock. Yeah. You're, you're changing. What do you mean? Well, no, you weren't very... Hey, what the f***? It's o'clock in the morning, what do yeah. you expect? You were doubting. Yeah. You're not doubting anymore. No, we're making good time. We're flying now, in fairness. That's good. Hey team, that's why. <laughs> you got skinny of me. Yeah, yeah. Oh! Out of juice? Yeah. Oh, oh that's not too bad. I passed it all with the helmet on. <laughs> <laughs> And then I was like, I'll just get to long haul now. No, I don't much. We have petrol, do we? Fair play to yeah. Martin Sullivan yes. for the petroleum. By all the way. I'd say now we probably will. Do you want the worst part of this whole journey? I'm going long thinking of what we're going to do next. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're gone. I'm not a thermometer now, but it's definitely minus 20 degrees outside there. Jesus. We uh, here on the petrol. We're topped up now again. We're only five minutes from Jennings, so off we go again. You know it's a big event when we're on Shanahan's here. <laughs> What's crack? Think about me one more time before you go. Someday you'll know. I've been feeling this way for far too long And now you're gone Took me away from all of my fears Barry Kiernan and the biker gang are on. That must be him. As you can see, the light is back on, so he has now ridden from dawn till dusk. Yeah. <laughs> we are cabin bound at the minute, uh, being escorted by Barry Kiernan and some other bikers. Uh, they just uh, just joined up with us there, so they're going to go all the way to cabin with us. And uh, we're staying there for the night and going the rest of the way tomorrow. I bet you it feels fair cool now with his biker gang oh, entourage. Yeah. <laughs> You're in a biker gang now, is he? Big, 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 and more importantly, Peter made it to Kevin. But no breakdowns, barred up puncture this morning. Tire held up after Shane Burns. 
sorted out with a new tube. So we're in Cavan, day one finished. We made it. Uh, the amount of money we've raised so far today is unbelievable. I won't get into it now because it's just, just probably a whole other video like on, yeah. on it. Like it's just, it's unbelievable what we've seen today, like the generosity and everything. It's just, I won't, I won't get into it now like, but uh, yeah, we made it to Cavan. Staying here for the night and uh, striking on again in the morning. We are at Splash Car Wash at the minute. Well, how's your hole? In bits. <laughs> <laughs> Road off. Bits, you've no idea. <laughs> Just that last stretch there on Bellin, yeah. I actually thought my arse is going. I was like, I don't think I can do this anymore. We first met with Barry. Yeah. Yeah. No trucks. Volvo trucks. Yeah. Volvo jobs. Yeah. Since they wouldn't sponsor us a van. They <laughs> Art commercials. <laughs> yeah, sure, Han. There you are. Yeah. This straight away, had you need, had you want. Mercedes even sponsored two drivers. I, I cannot. <laughs> I cannot at this moment in time. I'm a Volvo man to the core. And they've done not one thing. Nothing. <coughs> Shots fired. I just know my parts will be here next time. <laughs> you can trust my you can trust. That's a bit far now. <laughs> That's a bit far. <laughs> Gearbox malfunction. Gearbox malfunction. Follow where you get in your drift. Stop now, you'll have to <laughs> ride the scooter back to Tipperary. <laughs> Eva, I get there by one way or another. I may not be pretty, I may not be any of these things, but I get there. <laughs> it's day two, we're in Cavan, we're getting Peter suited up again. Ready for the off. No rain, thank God. I'm here getting my dress fitted. Oh. <laughs> Did you just stick your knee in my back? I didn't. <laughs> Kinky. I'm gonna let you that now the while. <laughs> I'm into the fight now. Is it? I don't know. Come on. Come on. Yesterday. I'm giving yourself a bit of breathing room, yeah, are you? Like... <laughs> <laughs> He's a dressmaker. Keep going. Keep going. That'll do. Oh, yeah. Sexy. Set that fire up and let the turbo warm up. Dwayne Lynch from Owens Transport is here to meet us this morning. Huh? Yeah. Uh, Bucket is in the van somewhere. Thank you. Right, ready for off? Yeah. Right, uh, we're gone. Enniskillen, more great sport here. I'm walking to the drugs, I don't care. And did you get it? Oh yeah, I'm watching the drugs. <laughs> I've seen you video it already, but I didn't think you walked through it. Petrol again. Yeah, I'm borrowing what? lava. What? 60 euro so far? I went 10 10. But then we ran out to Tullamore. 30 euros. 30? From Mizzen to Enniskillen, 30 euros. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, we filled it in. Oh no, we put, we put half a tank in the, in the car park. Yeah. In Cavan. So that's a fiver. Yeah. Right? So and 30, 35. 35 euros from Mizzen Head to Enniskillen. Two stroke. It's, it's on that side of the van. <laughs> you want to get stuff done. <laughs> like girls again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'll be bringing them the next day, not me. Yeah. Come on, girls, we're going on adventure. <laughs> adventure. Bring your mother too, she's madder than I am. <laughs> Barry Kiernan on the ZX9, or on the, the Ninja. He frightened the shit out of me. 
Everybody went so quiet that he hit the limit of something beside me. Ah, I couldn't see him. I was like, what the f was that? <laughs> I wobbled and everything around the wall. Like, Holy <laughs> Skill and Donald Dawson, Donny Gallbound. Need to try and catch Peter now. He's gone on like a rocket again. Um, geez, great to meet everyone there in Enniskill. Absolutely lovely people. Um, couldn't get over the generosity again, really. Do you know, one, one stop left, Donny Gall, and then we are on the home straight. The final leg, Donny Gall to Mallon. All the Which uh, we, we were telling them all along was only an hour, but uh, we, we just broke the news there. It's like two hours. If I was like here with a normal person with a camera, I'd feel weird, but now that I'm here with Buzz Lightyear, it's, it's grand like. <laughs> so it's gone out Donegal Town. We are on the final stretch now for Mallon. Maybe a quick little pit stop in Muff to get a picture, said the sign, because we're childish. <laughs> Straight on to Mallon then. There by Four, half four the latest. It will still be right. It's not too bad. What it's happens one now? So. Think about me one more time before you go. for far too long And now you're gone Took me away from all of my fears Kept me away from all of my 
Peter, where are we? We're about an eight. Yeah, she made it. She's over there by the finger post. <laughs> I'm over here. <laughs> tired of the wonder, tired of the wall. Look at the scenes we arrived at. Unbelievable. We did not think there'd be a lorry here. Look at that. I, I don't know if that's going to come out right on the camera or not, but it's unbelievable here. I had to jump back in the van, stop the wind noise in the mic, but he did it, he did it, the bike did it, we made it, we are in Malin Head, um, it feels like I'm in a film, to be honest, it feels like, if it doesn't feel real, it's like, we got to the first Malin Head sign about 10 kilometres out, we stopped, we uh, got a picture and we got a little video clip, and we drove in, and as we were driving in, like the sky opened, the sun burst through the clouds. The most unbelievable sunset I've ever seen in my life greeted us as we drove up. It was just, it feels like something from a film. And it's just unbelievable. And after what I've seen all weekend with the support for Peter and the generosity of people and the amount of people that came out to support cause, like I'm genuinely emotional after now to be honest and then that sunset as we drove up just topped it off I don't know how Peter feels now I'm sure he's buzzing outside he's full of fags and Red Bull and frozen probably sweating and we'll get to talk to him in a minute but I'm genuinely emotional after that journey now <laughs> time to load up you're not driving home no <laughs> we are on the long road home, leaving Malin Head. Peter, how's the body? Good. Is it? Oh, no, it's chocolate. I like it. <laughs> My body has reminded me I'm not a young man anymore. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Yeah. Um, but, like I said, the minute someone tell me they'll double that bucket, I'll climb back up that bike. <laughs> I'll head for home. And I can't heal being worked tomorrow. Can't be. <laughs> but, um, I'm happy in the... My body is heading me, but I'm happy. Yeah, but you must be delighted with like everything Absolutely you've seen. Delighted. I'm blown away. Like I just can't yeah. get over. Like yeah, you know, that that up there now was like the scene of a movie. Yeah, the, I literally said this on into the camera there a while ago. Yeah. It was like a film. Clouds opened. The sun burst out. We had this unbelievable sunset. And myself, a little daisy zooming along through the middle. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was just crazy. And not only that, but like everything I've seen over the weekend, the people the donations, the generosity, yeah. how far people went just to meet you on the road. Like, yes. This kind of thing. Do you, know like, when, just... do you know when I always say that, the people are very incredible. That's the thing that I, that I learned with it, I think. People, when it comes to the right causes and, and raise money, people are amazing. Yeah. People are absolutely amazing. And it forms an absolute brilliant friendship. Because those people that come out like that man, they're the with the man they that the man deserves nothing but respect. Yeah. For what he does. That's the way I see it. And people say, why well, you do these things, why well, you this? But when you do these things, you realise 
the, the incredibility of people. Yeah, like this is my this is very overwhelming. My first time doing being involved in something like this, and yeah. like I am just it's flabbergasted. Uh, yeah. Like it's very very overwhelming. Like that people, and also as I said last night, I was talking last night in the, in the lobby while you were asleep. Uh, I went down and had an old frosty bull down in the bar. <laughs> I didn't tell you that part after I walked in on Thursday. Um, like, I'll be honest, if you have a following or a, a platform involving young people, you need to set these examples as well. Yeah, I think in the, in the current way things are, I couldn't list on my fingers and toes how many people said that boy can't do that. It's not made to do that. When, when we got to Malin, uh, when we were driving up to Malin earlier on, and I, I was up with the drone, and I was looking at you driving up the scooter, and all all it was in my head was, you know what it sounded on TikTok, and your man from the All Ireland is like, they said that we wouldn't, they said that we couldn't, I'll tell you what we did. Yeah. <laughs> that was repeating in my head all the time, yeah. and I was like, I can't believe but he did it. It's not even that, right, it's not even that. If people want to look at this in a personal level, and you take that little bike or even little pink, the little pink, that car would have been thrown away. It was in its dark stages of life, it was going to be crushed. And that car conquered Ireland. And it's known by so many people now. Yeah. Right? Now Skinny doesn't know yet, but he's going to be involved in the next mission of that too. <laughs> and it's going to take a while. Yeah. But that car taught a lot of lessons to people as you can come from the darkest of places and conquer whatever's in front of you. And if people look at that little bike today, and young people especially, maybe they could be involved or they could get bullied or something like that, and people could be telling them, you can't do that. You're not able to fuck off. I can't do that. You know what I mean? That bike, that engine isn't designed to do them things. I was going along trying to duck my head, keep off the pressure off the engine. Go down Peter, it. You're not designed to do them things. I know that, but I still did it. Peter, you're bullying me. <laughs> this is going to turn into a podcast. Um, but that's what the examples I want to set. Yeah. That's, it's the best example. That you, if you were in having a shit day today, you actually just turn around, you might click on to add reality there, or subscribe or whatever. And uh, just click on the button. And, uh, <laughs> that's definitely worth the dinner to me. Isn't it? <laughs> that's definitely worth the dinner. Um, if, you, if, you, um, if you look at that and you say, hang on a second, I'm sitting here now on a really, really bad day. And I've getting sh- got shit from, from people. And I can do it. If that can do it, anything can do it. Yeah. They're telling me I can't do something, I can do it. Yeah, I'm going to be honest now. Like I, I expected yeah, I mean, some hiccup over no, weekend, yeah. something to go wrong, something I to break. Noticed, I noticed yesterday morning at six o'clock, you weren't very enthusiastic. Yeah, yeah, I, I was like, noticed, we are not going to make it. Like no, I went, I did. I, I'll be honest, I didn't have yes, faith. I, I'm going to be honest, right? I'm going <laughs> to say, I'm going to agree with you, right? When we were below in Mizzen, I did notice keen. You weren't very keen. But I, it was early and I wasn't after any coffee as well, just to point that out. Yeah, so. but you were doubting things. <laughs> and I said, you know what? I'm not going to keep keen off the team just yet. <laughs> well, if any consolation, I was doubting until we took the turn up here. <laughs> <laughs> That's not very nice. <laughs> Do you think we set good examples, boys? Do you think if anyone is going to sit down and when they click on that reality and press subscribe and watch this movie? They're going to learn, and the youngsters are going to sit there and say, "These, these, these boys are actually right." Well, they're they're actually, actually mad. But it is. No, this is this isn't mad. This is mad. Don't even, don't even bring me into that sector because don't even ask me to top off mad. I can do that. <laughs> I've proved that over the years. So, like, it's a set up proper example. All right, before we finish up. <laughs> what do you want to say to everyone who came out this weekend, donated, come out to meet you, everyone you met? Anyone that even went as far as sharing a Facebook post, anyone that came out to meet me, people that met with smiles on their faces, give me a fist bump. From the men, from the men and the women and the children that brought lorries, cars, anything to show their support. Tractors, tractors, sorry, sorry. And it on. 
They're incredible. They're incredible people. And it's it's just amazing. It's what they do. You know, there's I, I actually rest my case when they quote how good people are. You've seen it. Yeah, I've seen it this you weekend for it. for the first time really in the truck community. Like I've been driving trucks for a few years, but that like this weekend has just blown my mind. Yeah. With what I've seen. Yeah. 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 And, and it wasn't only the truck community. It, like random people seen you in costume in petrol stations come over like, what's the story here? Yeah. And then you told them, as soon as you told them, they were like, have you a bucket? Where's the bucket? Yeah. Hey, take this money. Yeah. Do you know, it's just unbelievable. Yeah, but that's, that's the kindness that are in people. You know, people, they don't shy away from, from doing, doing these things. And everyone else to help, and that's why I, I always say, the time I got a little pink, I said, this was not me. And I'm gonna say the same thing out, this was not me. This was everyone else. Everyone else done this. That's why Mr. King Keneally is here to prove that it's everyone else. Yeah. Because he was able to get those moments where people done some amazing things. 